Paul Bunyan is a mere myth, but he's a myth that's uniquely American. Described as a giant lumberjack with unusual strength and skill, Bunyan, along with his blue ox babe, is said to have helped carve many of the geographic features of the American landscape. With his giant axe at his side, storytellers in the early part of the 1900s told tales of the lumberjack creating the Grand Canyon simply by pulling his axe behind him. He and Babe are also said to have created the 10,000 lakes of Minnesota with their giant footprints. That origin story and the tales of Bunyan are manifested in a rivalry trophy in college football that goes to the winner of the annual showdown between Minnesota and Wisconsin. They play for Paul Bunyan's axe, and the schools have been doing battles since 1890. We'll delve deeper into this Big Ten rivalry, including the meaning behind it, on this edition of Stadium Rivals. The Wisconsin football team played four football games in 1890. The first was a 106-0 route of Whitewater Normal, but the second was the first ever battle against Minnesota. The Badgers would feel the yin and yang of those first two games by getting blown out by Minnesota 63 to nothing. In 1906, President Theodore Roosevelt suspended college football rivalry games because, believe it or not, there were too many injuries and fatalities on the field. The 1907 game, which ended in a 17-17 tie, restarted the rivalry, and it's been running continually ever since. In fact, the Wisconsin-Minnesota rivalry has the distinction as the longest uninterrupted rivalry in FBS Division I college football. We'll get to Paul Bunyan's act soon, but the rivalry's first trophy was actually the slab of bacon. Mmm. It wasn't bacon at all, but a piece of black walnut wood with an M or W in the middle, depending on how it was hung. It was implied that the winner would bring home the bacon. So in 1930, Wisconsin's 14-0 win meant the Badgers got the first slab. It would be in use until 1948, when a melee between players and fans led to confusion of the slab's whereabouts. In 1994, it was actually found in an old closet at Camp Randall Stadium and is now on display in Wisconsin's football offices. However, in the pre-Paul Bunyan Axe era, Minnesota was the dominant force, going 35-17-5 against Wisconsin. So the rivalry needed a new prize. The National W Club, Wisconsin's letter winner alumni organization, instituted Paul Bunyan's Axe in 1948. The scores from every game were printed on the wood handle with a red and yellow axe head on top. The scores began getting scrunched up over the years and the schools were running out of room. So a new axe was made in the year 2000 and the original Paul Bunyan axe is now on display in the College Football Hall of Fame in Atlanta, Georgia. The 1948 game was won by Minnesota in Madison by the score of 16 to nothing, the school taking home the axe for the first time. Minnesota claims seven national championships in its history, the most recent of which came in 1960. The game against Wisconsin marked the end of the regular season in Madison and led by All-American guard Tom Brown, the number four Golden Gophers won 26 to seven. We jump now to the modern era of the rivalry and the 2003 game. Tied at 34 with one second left, Minnesota kicker Reese Lloyd lined up for this game-winning field goal. It is up, and it is gone! Little did the Golden Gophers know that that celebration would be the last one against the Badgers for a very long time. Wisconsin would rip off 14 straight wins, the longest win streak in the rivalry, starting the following year in 2004, all the way until 2017. And that heartbreak probably began with the 2005 game. Minnesota had the lead with under a minute to go and was about to punt it away to Wisconsin when this happened. Oh, he fumbled it. It's blocked. Unbelievably. Wisconsin with a chance to pounce. The Badgers pounced on the block punt and won the game 38 to 34. Russell Wilson took his talents to Wisconsin in 2011, his first and only rivalry battle in his lone season with the Badgers. Wilson showed glimpses of what fans would soon see on Sundays, completing 16 of 17 passes for four touchdowns in number 16 Wisconsin's 42-13 demolition of the Golden Gophers. Getting back to Paul Bunyan's axe, there used to be a tradition where the winning school would take the axe, run down the field, and pretend to chop down a goalpost. 
But after 2013, a 20-7 Wisconsin win, that tradition ended after an altercation on the field. It probably wasn't the best idea to have a six-foot-long axe wielded by large football players near spectators. Who knew? Conference realignment placed both teams in the Big Ten's West Division, and the 2014 game was for the division title. Early in the second quarter, it was number 18 Minnesota with a 17-3 lead. But the Gophers had no answer for Wisconsin running back Melvin Gordon. He shined in this one, rushing for 151 yards and scoring twice as number 14 Wisconsin came back for a 34-24 win. In 2018, Minnesota's 14-game losing streak would finally come to an end. Demetrius Douglas returned a punt for 69 yards and a score. The Golden Gophers defense held up and the team ran away from Wisconsin 37-15. The jubilation of securing Paul Bunyan's axe could be felt throughout perhaps the entire state. Minnesota held the edge early, but Wisconsin has been the better team in the Paul Bunyan axe era, winning 60% of the matchups. But heading into 2019, the overall record is tied, if you can believe it, at 60-60-8. And, and with Minnesota holding Paul Bunyan's axe for the first time in years, this rivalry is poised to push back and forth for years to come. There's a new axe and a new sense of purpose in this Big Ten West battle. The longest continually running rivalry in college football is made for stadium rivals.